you know, get this fuel in and out of fat cells, get your glycogen in and mm. out of muscle. And I think just like when you stop exercising your body, bad things happen. I think when you stop exercising your metabolism, bad things happen. I hadn't thought about that. The way I'm hearing you say it is that this idea of metabolic flexibility is being able to burn the right fuels at the right intended time across right. The, right. the human span. Right. And what I'm also hearing you say is that you have to exercise, so hang with me here, exercise your metabolism, which sounds like fuel switching, but also emptying things like glycogen stores. So you never give your body this time of being without food. And I think this time with being out fo- without food actually does exercise your metabolism, particularly your adipose tissue, where you pull fat out and what you use goes back in. So it's like exercising your fat cells. Um, again, I don't want to say totally convincing. <laughs> I would say uh, I would say uh, it, it's it looks pretty good, but we certainly I would would certainly mm-hmm. not say that it's definite. But I'm at the point where. We recommend it as something that people should try. The other thing, oh, back to uh, the National Weight Control Registry. One of the things we found in the National Weight Control Registry is these people reported eating breakfast almost every day. I'm so glad you mentioned that. I've actually modulated on that a little bit. Tell me. I think it's. I think there are people that can do a different dietary pattern. What I think, that, see, with the National Weight Control Registry, I don't get hung up on any one thing. I think we identified a pattern. So they were eating breakfast, but they were also doing an hour of exercise and they were self-monitoring. Was it fasted breakfast? 